God bless you. Thank you for being with us today. We are Abundant Grace Church, and I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I am the senior pastor. For prayer or information concerning our ministry or to donate to this ministry, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our message title today is The Reason. I will be reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 18 and verse 37. For this reason I was born, and for this I came into the world. My beloved, a question for you today. Do you know why you are living? Jesus knew exactly why he lived. For this reason I was born, and for this I came into the world. And why? It was to testify of the truth. That's what he thought about, prayed about, planned for, worked toward, and sacrificed for. He died and rose again and finally accomplished what he was sent to do. By fulfilling his destiny, he changed the world forever. So, my beloved, do you know your destiny? What are you doing to achieve it? My beloved, we are created to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. You can read that in Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10. Does that sound like a life of aimless wandering with no known destination? The Bible says, a man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. That's in Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 9. So my beloved, plan well, but always stay open to God's direction. Psalm 139 and verse 16 says, All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. God's plan for your life was set before you when you were just a twinkle in your parents' eyes. The Bible is full of examples of people who crashed and burned at some point. King Saul is a great example. Recalling it, David, his successor, prayed, 1. I desire to do your will. That's in Psalms chapter 40 and verse 8. Your desires are the driving force in life, so make sure they're in harmony with God. And 2. Teach me to do your will. That's in Psalm 143 and verse 10. So my beloved, when it comes to doing God's will, the psalmist acknowledged he needed God's help and you do also. I do also. As Christians, we all need God's help. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for the devotional today. Lord, reveal to us what you have for us to do. We know you called us before the foundations of the world that we would serve you. And for that, we thank you. Lead us and guide us through your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God, for hearing hearing our prayer today as we pray in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, and majesty, now and forever. Amen. My beloved, have a great week, and remember to seek God for direction and all that you do for his praise and glory. God bless you, and go with God.